Hello, and welcome to Ominous Bequest, Gold Edition. Uh, the Command Mission by Eshaktar. And I know very little about this, uh, except it doesn't have a briefing, so I'm going to have to read out the uh, briefing text from the README, as usual. He was a man gifted in his arts, but flawed in character. To achieve his goals, he cast aside the oath he had sworn. Three went out to approach the threat. Where they had failed, the ignorant one would succeed. Keeper Reynolds. I was contacted by a man named Grimworth, a dealer in antiques, who offered me an interesting proposal. Lord Robert Farrington, eccentric collector and well-known sympathy of the Hammerites, passed away some days ago. His two sons are currently arguing over the inheritance, because the late Lord's Testament has not been found yet. The place used to be heavily guarded, which is one of the reasons why I haven't paid it a visit before. But Farrington's sons have refused to continue paying a considerably large crew of guards. A great number of them quit already, and others have gone on strike. Grimworth knows that Lord Farrington possessed numerous invaluable artefacts, but his offers to buy any of these relics have been turned down by Robert. Now that Farrington is dead, Grimworth wants me to find the Lord's last will and steal all the items mentioned in it. No doubt the Testament will list his most valuable relics of Robert's heritage. As an addition, Grimworth would like to know if the rumours about ancient quarters of a long-forgotten mages order below the manor are true. If I can find documents that confirm this, and, perchance, even retrieve information about a supposed way to get in, Grimworth would be willing to pay a considerable bonus. The antique dealer wants me to return with this info, so he can verify it. After that, if the information seems to be authentic, he'd hire me for a second, even more lucrative job, which would involve finding and entering the Major's Order. Later that night. Today is certainly not my lucky day. I was about to climb over the southern wall to the Lord's Estate when several loose bricks under my feet gave way. I managed not to break anything when I landed on the other side, but half my equipment fell down outside, completely out of my reach. Now I'm inside Farrington's estate, but without my blackjack and just a couple of broadheads in my quiver. I guess I have to find some means of replacement inside the manor. I can't risk postponing the job. I have to get that testament and the items listed on it before the heirs do. Ominous bequest. Um, so, the only thing that changes is loot goals and killing, so let's stick on hard as usual. Half of your equipment fell down the wrong side of the wall. At least try to find a replacement for your blackjack. Yeah, that would be quite handy. Lord Farrington's testament must be hidden somewhere in his manor. Retrieve it before anybody else gets close to it. Find some information that confirms the rumours about quarters of an ancient mage's order below the manor. While you're here, grab at least 4,000 worth of loot. This is not a raid. Don't kill any nobles or servants. You can't leave the compound through the front gate. After you've completed all other objectives, find another way out. Let's hope there is another way out. didn't mean for that to happen. Well, those guards are really not caring, are they? I guess the uh, take up was quite extreme because all these stone blocks just fell off the wall and they're just chilling by the front gate. Well, I guess they didn't leave their posts without being out ordered to, so you know, they've got an excuse. What equipment do I have? I've got my sword, no blackjack, ten broadheads, no other arrows of any other kind. Do have my lockpicks and my compass, that's it. That's pretty light on equipment for sure. Alright, let's begin with a starting point. Actually, I'm just going to... Just trying to get a nice shot of this front of this manor because that could be, a, could be a good screenshot. Much. I'm just going to sell. I don't think we hard to fit in there. So it's a dark. Oh, we finally got a dark corner. So we have goblets and stuff lying around. So a doorway. It's a little hut. 
let's see what's in there. Deal with that. Hmm, just a shovel. Doesn't make enough noise. Uh, and a broken chair. Only enough in here that's uh, I can use like a blackjack. Any point getting on the roof? Not really. I don't think I'll be able to uh, sneak past him in order to get into. Oh, there's, oh, there's mushrooms, my goblet. In order to get into the cellar. Yeah, there are mushrooms, okay. Makes a little more sense. Who leaves uh, goblets lying in the middle of the lawn? I don't know. The mushrooms, yeah. Oh. Uh, Dark patch by the wall, whatever. I'm not sure if it's dark enough. Something there? No, it's not dark enough at all. So let's just wait in the corner here. Yeah. You do have a wonderful imagination. Look at these huge stone walls. How could anybody break them here? It's a ridiculous idea. Right, she's. No, 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 there's no one back there. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a guy up there, but not, not there, but maybe this door. I wish I can get in here. Nope, I'm just going to need a key, okay. So a ladder is tempting me, but uh, if it needs a key, I'm not going to get in there. He's quite drunk. Maybe this one? Uh, nope. <coughs> yeah, come on, Jerry, get off the ladder. Nobody here. No, I didn't, Jerry. I'm gonna look to see if any of these guards have keys on them. Yeah, he's drunk, but doesn't mean he's not gonna fight me. Oh, gosh, Larry. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to fight me. This is bad. He wants to fight. I don't have any way of dealing with that. Maybe I can run into the basement quickly. Okay, okay, I'm going. Give it a shot. <laughs> I do have a way of escape, okay. <clears throat> Oops, that's a bad idea. Alright, so where's Mr. Drunk Guard? Where did he go? Is he sitting in this? Oh, there he is. <laughs> really? You're a disgrace to the entire profession of guards. I wonder if those basement doors are locked. But I'm thinking maybe my best way to get in, given all the guards on the outside, is uh, to distract him and then sneak in the basement. I think that's what I'll do once uh, without guards. And he's gonna win the uh, marathon, isn't he, at that rate? At least he's given up on me, but. Uh, Still, just trying to be quiet when I fall down here. Or somewhat as quiet as it can be. <clears throat> right. There's no darkness. Just trying to distract him over that way. Who's there? Is someone there? I'll find you. Damn you. Hurry up. In 
inside at last. All right, that worked. Uh, better than I expected. Hopefully there's no guards in here. Yeah. A noisy furnace. It's kind of weird, I feel like I'm sitting above ground. Maybe I'm just falling around. Maybe I guess I'm gonna have to Oops. No, it was rats this time. It was I must be good at my sneaking if, uh... oh shit. He said as he walks out right in front of the guard. I don't know how he failed to see me there, but... Alright. If I can't knock these guys out, this is going to be a fun... Fun exercise. Listen to his footsteps, see when he's going to be back. Yeah, I was gonna say that looks like dripping blood, but I guess it's supposed to be wine. It's very rich colored wine. And a single sheet of paper. When eight switches are blocking your way, look to the stars for guidance. Only then will you find the rest of me. All right, uh, some kind of riddle. When we find eight twitches, uh, then we look to the stars for guidance. I don't know what the me is supposed to be finding the rest of is, but... Uh, oh, the, the good wine kept here. And some of the bad wine, but I'll take the good stuff. Nice. 425 already, that's... Uh, that's pretty expensive wine. 100, 100 coins a bottle. I don't actually know what the patrol table looks like. Alright, it goes up there and comes back here, yeah, alright. So we go and see if we can pick the lock on that other red door. Exploring the basement, but uh, he doesn't go far enough down the other hallway for me to safely stand in the middle there. I have to wait till he heads back down that hallway, then I'll be okay. And there's just a servant up there in the kitchen or whatever. She walks down there, he'll come back up here, I think. Judging by what uh, was before. Around. Folks said we might get stew today with real cow. Only saves them. The Baron gets to eat cows all the time, not potato, potato, potato. Yep. Ugh, I hate croaking noises. 
must be nice being the uh, Baron. Always getting cow soup. Real cow. I hope you get your cow soup guard, because nothing worse than just potatoes all the time. Feel for you. Fire arrow. Well, 12. 12 fire arrows. That's insane. But look at this. Uh, all the equipment I didn't have seems to be found in here. That's uh, very nice. <clears throat> oh, except still nothing for, that I can use for knocking people on the head. That's, you know, I'm, I'm missing that already. Sandbag. Let's drop a sandbag on the head to knock them out. That's not going to work. That's light. I don't want light. While I'm waiting for him to pass, let's review what I got. I have 24 broadheads, I picked up another 12. 12 what arrows, 12 fire arrows, 7 rope arrows. Hey, where did he go? He's gonna walk to the left past the door now, isn't he? <coughs> two flash bombs, two flares, and a death mine. Stables, keep the store locked. Well, no. Okay, unlock it, I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna go in and find out what's up with these barracks in your stables. It's really a bad idea to keep, to keep barracks around. And we don't seem to have any barracks on hand at the moment, right? No, they're all empty, that's good. Didn't really want to face barracks right now. Anything else? I'm actually in any of these pens. Apparently not. Alright. What's down here? A lift that goes down? To where? in the basement. Huh. I can control the lift, but I can't control the door. Interesting. This is this gate is, uh, not opening. I don't see a switch anywhere. Is this wood? I think it's wood. This is a silly rope, but just in case there was a switch up on the top of that that I couldn't see. The uh, shortest rope arrow I've ever used, I think. Let's take that. Uh, okay, the stable seems a dead end. Uh, so what am I going to do for blackjack replacement? Where's this guard? Oh, he's coming. He's going to come right up to this door and he's going to walk away down the hall. Yeah, here he comes. Okay, now he's walking away. Make sure he doesn't see the open door because he probably thinks it's still locked. Guard, not a servant. All right, there's something on the table. I did hear a servant from here before. That's a note saying, Hey, Dubs, another wine bottle was stolen from the cellar last night. Wesley was found unconscious down there. He said that somebody had hit him on the head with a pan or something, but he hadn't been able to see the person. I wonder why Captain Buxley keeps defending that drunkard Benny. The whole staff know that knows that he's got a drinking problem and that he lost his former job because of it. True, we haven't caught Benny being drunk on duty yet, but I bet he's keeping those bottles in his locker. That's why he snarls at everyone who just looks at it. 
Maybe you can check what's in the locker when Benny's not there, Todd. Ooh, chocolate donuts. Garrett's favourite. Uh, just hit on the head with a pan or something, huh? Good work, Garrett. Good work. Oh, somebody's coming. Here are they? That's locked. <laughs> no, they're not. All right. Actually, I've never checked. Do I have a map of this place? I do. That's uh, that's a very good PP map. Uh, outer wall. Frontals. Okay, I didn't go around to the gazebo. Guards on strike. Might still not like to see a thief. <laughs> nice. Uh, guards by the front doors. Guards by the coal chute. That's the one I uh, got past. Back door's probably locked. Indeed, they were. Guard and shack. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually proceed around to the gazebo or the greenhouse entrance. Maybe that was the uh, best way in. I don't know. Well, they got inside the way. I got inside. And, uh, oh, somebody actually knows the layout of this place pretty well. That's, that's handy. So where am I? Just sell our kitchen. Guards quarters. I came up some stairs, right? And then I was sitting under a spiral stair. I think I'm here, because, like, come up those stairs. This is where the servant's going to and from, in a garden. Table here. Hmm. And a spiral staircase there. That's what I was, that I'm sitting under right now. I think. But then there's another door by the spiral stair that's not shown. I don't know. This one. Can I pick the lock? No, three circles is a sleeping room. Alright, I'm not going up the stairs just yet. Let me just check the upstairs map. Um, hmm. It's upstairs to question mark. Good, good. I think I should try and get to the kitchen. See if I can find a frying pan or something to knock people on the head with, which means going back down to the cellar, which I don't have a map of. Go back down to the cellar and trying to find us another way up. There was there was another way up, I passed it before, so I think that's a good plan. He's still watching the fire, isn't he? Right, he's going to go to down towards the barrack stables, and uh, that will give me my moment. Actually, I quite like this not being with the blackjack, you know, it means I'm actually sneaking for a change a lot more than usual, even if I'm getting caught by drunk guards. <coughs> right, never vary your patrol. I thought we had a key for a second. No. So yeah, there's another, another pair of stairs. Yeah. Oh, there was somebody in there, isn't there? Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Yes. I want to create a patch of darkness if I can. At least for relative darkness. Let's just use them up. I don't want to get Out this. again? Someone's gonna trip and fall. Yep. I don't want to get discovered just yet. Uh, a dumbwaiter. Okay. These torches just don't work very well, do they? No, they really don't. Is that a. I have a skillet! Ha <laughs> ha! I bet it's gonna make an awful clanging noise when I uh, hit someone on the head with it. I should I should test it out on that guard in the basement. He's uh, pretty alone there. Is that him I'm hearing, hearing now? <laughs> Footsteps on the stairs. Take some food. <coughs> well, 
Oh. Uh, I wonder if there's anything in the sink. I wonder if I can see without uh, waking, you know, without alerting her. That shouldn't go out like that. Right. Someone will fall and get hurt. Yeah, these torches are terrible, aren't they? There was a gold plate. There was a gold plate in that sink, but I somehow grabbed the water arrow instead. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining about the water arrow. It will help replace the ones I've lost. But um. <coughs> oh, the air is getting so filthy here. It is just filthy. Uh... All right. This note to all guard personnel this kitchen is not a self-service restaurant if you're hungry go to the mess room or kindly ask one of the servants to get something to eat for you the kitchen is supposed to be clean and tidy all the time the lord does not want people with muddy boots trampling around in here and touching everything with their dirty hands the next person i catch helping himself to a snack in here will feel my skillet on his head the cook <coughs> Well, let's test the skillet, huh? Well, I'll try out my skill with the skillet. I swear it's this guard. Actually, why am I leaving all these doors open behind me this way? Very careless. Hmm. Despite the size, it's uh Waves through the air pretty easily. I say, can I wait in the uh, actual shadow of a doorway? But no. I'll just wait in this shadow and catch him as he uh, walks up. <coughs> Clang. <coughs> Alright, uh, what's that the wine cellar? Yeah, let's leave you in the wine cellar and make people think you stole the wine. They drank the wine here and just collapsed unconscious, shall we? Oh, what was that? Oh, a hammer. I didn't see it before. Alright, uh, so now... Mm -hmm. Alright, now I actually can actually go different ways. Um, Marble flooring there. That's probably not a good way to go. What am I trying to do? Find the will. That's going to be upstairs, surely. I should just go back to here. And that'll get me upstairs. Library or something is where the... Or study. Study is probably where the will would be, right? You think? I'll keep that one open. That's a good uh, room to escape to. Where Mr. Guard is. Uh, oops, careful. Just watching some food on the fire there, I think. Oh, maybe I can actually steal our food from under his no out from under his nose. That would be. That'd be good. Wait for this servant lad to wander away. You're not having real cow, brother. Here, today. Alright. So, up the stairs we go. What have we here? Kind of relics on display? Or valuables? Uh, those cables are suspicious. I'm gonna, sus I'm gonna say that those are uh, weighted pedestals, and taking anything off them is gonna set the alarm off. Dofarb scepter, actually spelled that way. Do not touch either. Is this expecting me to read this one first? 
Spawn of Delorean. Do not touch. Turn the lights off. Yeah, listen to that buzzing. That's uh, some kind of protection. Alright, what have we got? We've got the studies on the right here. That's a closet. Literally, okay. Study seems a good place to begin our researches. Alright, fights. Bet results. 03-18. Lady Burial, bet. Belchior, stake 80. Result 1, winnings 100. Okay, there's uh, the, he's got a fighting pit down here. What's this? Oh, ho! <laughs> Series of hidden switches, huh? Is this just hiding another hidden switch? No, this is the wall safe key. Uh, candlestick I can't steal and some notes. Will of Lord Robert Farrington. I, Robert Farrington, being weak of body but of sound mind and perfect remembrance, praises be given to the builder for the same, make this my last will and testament in manner and form following. In premise, I give and bequeath unto both my sons the manor and the entire premises it is built upon. All the household goods are not mentioned in this testament, including my grand animals, shall be equally divided. Hopefully not literally for the animals. Secondly, I give and bequeath unto my elder son, Nathaniel Farrington, the ruby called Blood Tear. Its sister gemstones, Sunspark and Iceheart, shall be given to my younger son, Geoffrey Farrington. Thirdly, I give and bequeath unto the captain of guard, Joseph Buxley, the horn of Deloren, as it is exhibited in the northern display room. Fourthly, I give and bequeath unto my handmaiden, Sarah Brown, the painting called The Hunting Dragon. Fifthly, I give and bequeath unto the Order of the Hammer, the underground church known as Farrington Church, and the holy relic called the Talisman of Life. Hereunto I do set my hand and seal this 18th day of March, in the sixth year of His Highness's reign, the Baron of the City. Signed, Robert Farrington. Well, there's my list of stuff to steal, huh? Uh, the three gemstones, Blood Tear, Ice Heart, and Sunspark. And the uh, Horn of Deloren, and the painting, and the Talisman of Life. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to steal. I already know what one of them is, so I should probably make a note, right? Here's the horn. I'll make a note, but uh, it kind of makes it hard. If I were to start here and say. No, just a minute. Start here. A horn. There we are. What should I say? All right. Well, I uh, found this. Why? Why would you hide your last will and testament in a secret closet? I mean, the whole point of it is it's supposed to be found. Otherwise, uh, you get all the sorts of mess that your kids are fighting over right now. But anyway, let's make sure nobody else finds that study. For now, they can find it later. Wall safe key. I wonder if there's a safe hiding here. No. Hmm. Wait, was there a safe in there? I didn't actually look at the wall, did I? Probably not. Probably not. The wall safe must be elsewhere. Probably in his bedroom or something. Alright. Yeah, it's not really in room for any hidden compartment there, not with the, uh, whole room behind it. And nothing in this. Okay. Oh, the electricity still works. Good to know. Always good to know. It's very quiet up here. Like, we don't actually have any guards. Hmm, well, at least the observatory. Why not? Let's... Why not check it out? Oh, there are guards. Not near. Ooh. Oh, for 
panels that uh, I could press, but I do not know anything about them. Let me go here. I am particularly fascinated by the blue torches found lit throughout the crypt. They must have been burning for centuries without the need of any fuel or air. I tried to take one of them with me for closer studies, but as soon as I moved it more than a few inches away, it went out. Obviously, these torches are magical. Another hint that these tombs were built by mages. A short treatise on the schools of magic after precursor times by Zacharias Forlong. Apart from the well-known elemental mages, there were several smaller groups devoted to other mystical faculties. After the downfall of Karath Din, four new schools came into being as additions to the four elements. Restoration, Conjuration, Scrying, and Necromancy. Restoration, the School of Healing. The art of potion making plays a major role in the School of Healing. It is an ancient wisdom that has been passed down through many generations. While healers in precursor times mainly focused on restoring people's health, there are many potions which have other useful effects today. Conjuration, the school of summoning. Conjuring extra dimensional beings is an art largely lost in today's times. Summoners were quite common in Karath Din, but nowadays such practices are denounced as pagan rites. Scrying, the school of far seeing. It is rumored that today's keepers emerged from the precursor guild of enlightenment although such a theory is based on a rather unsteady foundation. Presumably, the Scryers were the first to see the end of Karath Din coming, but the new Emperor ignored their warnings until it was too late. Necromancy, their school of death. Certainly being the darkest of the four, necromancy is a faculty very much frowned upon by the majority of mages. Not just in precursor times was raising the dead or extending one's lifespan through them considered a blasphemous act. Besides, no matter how experienced a necromancer is, only the dead know what death really means. Uh, we have some banners. Banners must die. If there's uh, no other rule, there's that one. There's a window that opens, is it? Oh wow, they've got good eyesight. That's all they Striking cards gathered in the gazebo. <laughs> nice, alright. Let's not bother them. It's just to the observatory, the way why is it going downstairs? Ah. Odd. Does that open? It does not open. Well, hmm. There's the moon. Good to know. So there's a whole look to the stars note I found about eight levers, but uh, looking to the stars that only shows me the moon. There's someone outside. But that really looks like it should open. Oh, 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 what do you know? It does. So what have we got here? That looks like a wire, an electric wire. I what happens if I cut it. Stop buzzing. I wonder if that means the uh, horn of Delorean is no longer no longer uh, protected. Well, the buzzing noise has stopped, hasn't it? Guess we can only find out. Horn of Delorean. One of our objectives. Let's take the staff of. Uh, What's his name? Dofar. Excellent. Okay, uh, so, got the horn. Let's come and have a look at the bedrooms here on the, s I was about to say the southern side, but no, apparently that's east. But somebody drew this map with north this way. At least they, at least this time they showed us on the compass that, that it was uh, oriented that way. The maps where north is some way other than up are always confusing, but uh, the compass helps mitigate that a little, I suppose. Oh, there's a door that's all boarded up there, that's interesting. That's really interesting. I wonder what that's all about. 
feel like listen to the door before I'm trying to open it just in case there's somebody somebody there. No, we have an empty room with curtains for some purpose I can't imagine. But there's a banner. Oh ho ho! I bet I can't pick it. Nope, but I did find a wall safe key in a study. Let's let's see if this is the wall safe. Question. Aha. Oh, what? Oh, for a second I thought the for a second I thought the entire room was moving up. No, it's just the walls coming down. Uh, what have we got here? The painting of uh, the bookman in a robe and his suspicious friend. No, that one's not valuable. The painting of a hunting dragon. Wait, wait, look at that. That's a constellation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight white dots. There's the note, about eight levers. I think that's relevant. Can I see it well enough? Yeah, I can actually use it to, to review it. Good. All right, and the painting of the jolly fawn and the naked lady having a picnic. No, also not like that. Right, let's make sure nobody sees that they're gone. And can I close this again? Where's my key? Where's my key? There we are. Perfect. Okay, I'll come in this way. All right, I think I'm done with the wall safe key, so I'm gonna put it back in the study here. Just leave it on the desk. Should be fine. You know, in theory, in theory, nobody's gonna know I was here. In practice, they're all gonna see all those banners that have been. What's that? What? I'm hearing like rip arrow noises, creaking noises coming from in there. I wonder what that's all about. Attention! On Lord Farrington's order, the door to this chamber is to remain barred indefinitely. No one is permitted entry without the explicit instruction of the Lord. Furthermore, do not try to relight the malfunctioning gaslight. It will be replaced in the near future. The Captain. Aha, uh -huh, it's a, uh, oops, there's a guard. Is there enough darkness for me? There is, just. You know what? I'm actually going to wait and watch. I'm going to try sneaking a bit more. I've been sneaking pretty successfully up to this point. Go back there, yeah. It really doesn't sound like you, uh, or rather, it really doesn't smell like you did a good job. All right. <coughs> oh. He's gonna walk back and forth here now. I might actually have to bump you on the head then. Now there he is. Leaving me alone to. See what this does. Oh, malfunctions. Of course, being a gas lamp, I can relight them. Silly me. Bedroom. Hmm. Any valuables? What have we got in the bathroom here? Besides a bath. I think with no water arrows. Not a single valuable item of any kind. I am incredulous and affronted. How is a honest thief supposed to make a living? I'll turn the lights off there. I'll make it a nice safe or well, semi safe for, spot for retreating. Jeffrey's note Nathan, I searched Father's study and his office for an entire hour but couldn't find anything remotely resembling a testament. Either the old bugger didn't want us to find his last will, or there isn't one at all. 
He arranged weekly barrack fights down in the arena. From the bills, I gather there must be quite some money around. I thought this house used to be just a vacation place for him, but it seems that he was spending more and more time here during the last few months. And what's with all those guards? He was paying more watch personnel than that paranoid Bafford. Speaking of paranoia, apart from the two exhibits in the showroom, I haven't seen anything that looks particularly valuable. Where did the old man hide all his wealth? I think I know where the entrance to the vault is. In front of that frightening death statue, I stumbled over a trap door. The plaque at the statue must be a clue how to open it, but I haven't figured it out yet. Maybe there's something to do with the glass windows and the elevator shafts. I was too tired to, tired to try anything. It'll have to wait until tomorrow. I'm going to spend the night at Farnsworth's, since those arrogant hammers are still occupying the guest rooms. Don't you dare take anything for yourself while you're alone in the house. Just because you're two years older doesn't mean you're entitled to a large piece of the cake. I'll see you tomorrow when the notary has arrived. Jeffrey. Glass windows in the elevators, death statue, which, uh, hmm. All right. The guard is coming this way again. No? Maybe not. Uh, but it doesn't look like a very safe place to hang around. It's quite well lit and looks out onto the entrance hall as well. Well, the dining room and living room are there. Hmm. There's at least well, there's a couple of guards wandering around. Another servant might be wandering up there as well. I don't know. So what's that I see over there? Oh, there's a guard outside on the balcony. There is a light switch. I can turn the lights out, potentially. I wonder, is this the same guard I'm hearing as the one that patrols this corridor? No. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Where are all the guards? Oh, they're all coming up behind me. How lovely. Hmm. You know what? I think my sneaking uh, is going to have to change. I'm going to change. Can I bring these down? No. Oop. Can't look this way. I'm going to have to take my chances to knock out guards. When the opportunity arises, just because there's too many of them for my liking. Far too many. Did I come this way? Yes, this is the way to the observatory. And four weird stone symbols that I'm sure have a great deal of importance that I can't figure out yet. Library. There's a guard coming this way. Right, I should uh, probably take the opportunity to uh, give him a slight headache. Except there's someone else behind them. <coughs> Two people by the sound of it. The other one's coming back, I think. Busy times here in uh, Guard Central. I want to catch him alone, not... Probably a safe place. It's nice and dark and out of the way. Actually, not that dark, but it's out of the way now. Thought I saw something. Nothing here now. Nothing at all. All right. I'll make uh, my explorations up here quite a lot easier. 
I could do a, you know, a thorough kind of ghosty style, but it requires a lot more patience and it's probably not very good for streaming and recording because it's just sitting there a lot of the time watching, observing control patterns, looking for the gaps. And, uh, there we are. Nice pile of guards, nobody will see them. You know, waiting for the gaps and then going through the gaps. Alright, I was going down this way, wasn't I? In fact, I've just gone into the library. Oh, there's still people around. Alright, uh, I don't have to knock everybody out necessarily, but the ones that are a nuisance. Ah. Hmm. Push that in a minute. Oh, wait, is this another one? Do I need that wall safety again? Oh, I might do. But I can pick this, steal whatever's in here. Uh, lots of stuff in this library. There's money, there's a book, there's a wall safe, there's a secret pat door at least, not necessarily passive. Legendary Artifacts Part 1. A compilation in progress by Nadim, fifth mage of the dawn. Ezekiel's sister gemstones. Ezekiel, a mage attributed to precursor times, devoted his life to the study of stones and their magical abilities. He is most remembered for his expeditions, which ultimately led him to the discovery of three identically cut gemstones. There was no doubt about the magical origin of these stones, because no precursor gem cutter would have been able to work with such perfect precision. Later, Ezekiel found that they radiated waves of energy when pressurized, but his studies were ended abruptly by the destruction of Karathin. The sister gemstones were lost during the Cataclysm. The Zedomikost the original purpose of the Zedomikost, a magical sword forged in the Hall of Embers, is surrounded by several legends, not a few of them contradicting each other. It is believed that the weapon was formed as a counterweight to another magical artifact created at the same time. The sword glows in the dark and has the ability to damage unholy creatures. When brought in contact with holy water, the Zedomikost re reacts by radiating extreme heat for a brief moment. This way it can always be released should its sharp blade be stuck in stone or metal. The sword is currently in the possession of Akrab, seventh mage of the dawn. Hmm. What well, do you reckon we're gonna find that sword stuck in some stone or metal somewhere? Should have kept that wall safe for you now. Let's let's go back and get it. Any more patrollers? No. Let's see if it's sort of same key. No, it's not. Alright. I mean, this is a wall safe, but. Uh... Alright, let's look. Um, so, where am I going to find this key? This really doesn't work with lockpicks. Alright, well, let's make a note. Library. Okay. I mean, I need a key. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, what's that? Passage leading. There's nowhere if I can't fit through it. Carrot. Oh, yeah. Behind one of the bedrooms. Where's that light coming from? That's very odd. Oh, I see. Oh, it's one of the rooms with the hammer right in it. Yeah, look, there's got an attic here as well, okay. Another hammer right. I could throw an arrow in his face, but I don't think I need to. Should be able to get in there and bonk him on the head if need be, I should imagine. <coughs> we got here a uh, nice painting that uh, I guess Lord Farrington liked to study. 
Lexicon of Obscure Acronyms, Volume 12, SHAS to THC. I was a teenage wearbrick. Life in the old quarter. Madame is old in delicate in. One thousand ways to use thy hammer. Hmm. Let's not go that way just yet. That's a very... Well, while well, you're done singing your hymns, I'm going to come in and uh, introduce you to my friend, the frying pan. Right, there's no one else here, is there? Well, let's go introduce this hammer man. What was that I heard? There's nothing. <coughs> right, what do you got? You got a valuable hammer. And a note. Brother Selyard, the recent demise of Lord Robert Farrington hath once again brought up the question about the rightful heir of Farrington Church. As thou surely dost know, Robert's father Edward built the underground church as a donation to the order, but an ambiguous wording in his last will made Robert the exclusive owner. Although we do know that Robert was by far not as devoted a follower of the Hammer as his father had been, it is expected that Farrington Church will finally be passed to the Hammerite Order. It hath been decided that thou art to travel to Farrington Manor and attend the reading of the Testament as a representative of the Order. Thy knowledge about secular legislation and the law of succession in particular might prove to be useful in this matter. May the Hammer fall on the unrighteous. Officially, Father Terence. Is that maybe the hammer fall on the unrighteous officially, or you're signing the letter officially? It's a very significant distinction. Right. This, this fellow's snoring is getting on my nerves, so uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop. I thought for a second I'm actually getting up there. Brother Celia and I arrived at late Robert Farrington's manor this morning. After a minor dispute with his heirs, Nathaniel and Geoffrey, we were allowed to occupy both guest rooms, since the beds in Farrington Church are already in use. The hammer of righteousness shall fall on those who build their walls on a foundation of falsehood. As requested by High Priest Relig, we brought sixteen eternal candles from Lightforge Cathedral. Farrington's church, Farrington Church's occasional underground winds kept blowing out the common ones. Thy life is a trial, as thy path is strewn with deceit. Be wary of liars, for they take the builder's words and twist them with their forked tongues. I am trying to find some rest, but Brother Celia's chants keep me awake. I do wonder why I can hear them coming from the western wall. With the same force, a nail needs to be driven into the wood. A novice needs to be disciplined, so he doth not stray from the one true path. Now, does he write these, uh... Oops, get them out. I can't get them Does he write that stuff, or is that just there in his uh, diary book, printed on every page already? Probably the latter. Uh, you, you didn't have anything else of value in here, did you, that I miss? Oh, you have a banner. Of course. Garrett! What are you doing with that? Weird backhand stroke. It's not, you know, not the most effective banner slashing technique ever. Right. Noisy floors. Uh, nothing in the toilets. There usually isn't anything in the toilet, but uh, on occasion there has been. Oh, they're, they're going to be downstairs on the marble floor. Yeah. So this, what is this? Where does this go? Uh, I don't know, but it needs a key. Yeah, and I don't have a key. All right. Where to now? Uh, I guess we've got the other bedroom 
That was still bean, and then we can start exploring up here, perhaps. Well, there's a living room. I can go through that passage back to the living room. That's probably... No, because the guy there could see the exit. It's probably better to come from up here now that I've got rid of the guards that were wandering. Uh, now that I've got the will, I just need to find Talisman of Life, the gemstones, something about the Mage's Order, and 4,000 loot. But uh, I'm going to take a break here. Gonna go uh, make myself another cuppa. And I will continue when I return. Thanks for watching.